Okay, my bore gauge is set on zero. It's, just, it's kind of hard to hold it right on there. Uh, trust me, it's on zero. I have that sitting in my micrometer. And what I did is I took my micrometer and measured across my piston. Up on the skirt, it's got some real nice spots on there. Here to measure on either side. So I got that measurement. I don't know if that's in focus or not. But you can see. Uh, I, that's four inches. And then there's two tick marks. Each one is 25 thousandths. So that's four and 50 thousandths. And then I'm at five, six, seven, eight. A little more than eight. And if you rotate that around, you can see that the one that lines up closest is the five. So that's 4.0585. I wrote down all the different measurements. They're all within two ten thousandths. Um, so that's as close as I can measure it. So then I set my caliper at zero. So what I'm looking for, not my caliper, my bore gauge. What I'm looking for is 1.5 to 2 thousandths clearance. That's what um, the manufacturer suggests. So I put it to the left there. Each one of those ticks is half a thousandths. So I'm at one and a half to two thousandths. I don't know if you can see it because of the shadow there. So then, here's uh, one side. I've already honed those out. And that one needs a little bit of help there. That's up where the top ring lands. So I, you can't feel it. All the rest of them are looking pretty nice. Now if we put our gauge in here, kind of hard to do it looking through the camera. You can see I'm right about one and a half. So I'm very, very close right now at the minimum. I know it's upside down, that's just the way the gauge is. This one's a little under. So those I need to do a little more work on. Same with that one. I need to take off another uh, half a thou. Same with that. I uh, started working on the other side. Let me put my bore gauge down before I bang this thing up. This was only like $50 from Amazon. They're pretty cheap. It's amazing they work. Uh, so let me grab my light. So here's here's what the cylinders look like when I started. So you can see uh, there's some scuffing there, a lot of glazing, especially at the bottom of the cylinder. The cross hatching is barely there, pretty much non-existent. So I started doing a rough on this cylinder, uh, the first rough on, and most of the scratches have come out. Most of the glazing's gone, just a little bit there at the bottom. Um, this still has some at the top ring to do. So I'm just taking my time. I don't want to rush it. I don't want to take off too much. So again, this is what, I don't know if I can get a light in there. So this is what it looks like uh, after running the hone through there. So I'm pretty happy. I'll talk about that in another video. This is uh, a Lyle 15,000 hone. Just comes in this little box here. So, all right, let's move on. Okay, here I have the cylinder hone. Uh, in the bore, I have it tightened down so it won't it won't slide around in there for me. 
as you can see, I'm down about uh, about a quarter inch. I'm actually sitting right where the rings stopped coming up uh, from the previous piston. So you can see I'm down about a quarter inch, maybe a little more. So that the stones are almost this exact same length as the cylinder, which uh, makes it kind of easy, but then I can't go up and down a lot to get any kind of cross hatching. So I'm gonna have to do that with the flex on. And if you look on the right, you can see where the stone will hit if I go down too far. It's gonna bang right into that, right in the center of the frame. I can't point because I'm holding the light, but it's gonna bang into that um, casting for the main bearing there. So I can go down maybe another half inch, cutting it kind of close. So generally what I do is uh, go down so I'm about a half inch from the top. It's very easy to see because the, the silver part of the of the stone, the silver bracket, um, stands out while it's spinning. So I go down about half inch, and then it says don't come up more than an inch out of the bore. So I usually go down half inch out of the bottom, up half inch out of the top. So I'm moving about an inch up and down, just slow. I'm not trying to get any uh, patterns in there. I just don't want to wear. Uh, like a groove if there's a piece of grit or something with the stone. So that's how that works. Okay, I finished with the Lyle um, rigid micrometer hone and I got this out to two thousandths over for um, my pistons, two thousandths over my piston size. That's what the uh, manufacturer recommends. And then I started doing my, using the ball hone to get a cross hatching on there. So you can see it there, maybe with the light. Um, they look pretty nice, that, that's that finish. So it's just a standard flex zone. Uh, manufacturer recommends 500 to 800 RPMs. But in order to get a, a cross hatching pattern, uh, you're gonna have to stroke that in like a, a, a horny 18 year old. So I slow it way down just so that I can keep, uh, you know, maybe a one and a half stroke per second rate, because I'm an old guy and I'm, I just, I'm set up for endurance, okay? So, next step.